George, I'm a bit of a flying fanatic, love to fly. I remember, like so many people do, my first trip up. in a 747. How could they take this plane out of service? What is good enough to replace it? Well, I mean, the world, I guess, has changed since we've developed the 747 back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, and I think we're doing a lot more point-to-point -point flying, and I think that's going to be the end of the 747 because it's uh, such a big people carrier, really good for very large uh, markets, uh, big city pairs. And but you know Boeing's been building these uh, successive, successfully uh, long-range airplanes that uh, can carry sort of 250 to 350, 400 people with only those, two engines. With only two engines, which are much more efficient, and those are really, really being built for the world of point-to-point -point travel, uh, where you're not going through. Like, what's a good example of what, say, the 747 was built to do, and what these, the kind of route that it was built to fly, and what the new planes are built to fly? London and New York, right? London and New York, big city pairs, uh, New York into Hong Kong, places like that where you have large concentrations of people. And with the new world, right, we have the seven, we had the triple seven introduced back in the 90s. We had 787 just introduced. These are airplanes, 250, 300, 350 uh, passengers. They can fly from Cincinnati to Beijing. And in Cincinnati, you don't want to be trying to sell 450 tickets to Beijing for a flight. You'll, you'll just end up having to discount tickets a lot to, to make that route work. You buy a 787 or a triple seven. And isn't that just the way technological advancements would work? I mean, I'm not using the Commodore 64 I was using in 1989. Why should we care about a plane that was developed decades ago? You were using a 64 in 89? Or whatever. <laughs> what year? I, I mean, I if, if this guy wants to date me, trust me, I'll date him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, very, it's an iconic airplane. I'm, I'm with you. You know, I'm going to miss that look in, in the skyline. Uh, but yeah, the world moves on. The problem is there's only 50 orders right now in the books at Boeing for that 747. There's over 300 for the 777 and almost 900 for the 787. Is, is it, it, does the same scenario apply to the Airbus 3, you know, A380? The, 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 this is the biggest commercial aircraft ever to fly. It does. And it hasn't been selling particularly well. Is Airbus going to have to face the same kind of difficult decision Boeing is facing right now over the 747? Yeah, I know there's a debate that goes on they in both. billions to develop that thing. They, they did. Look, we think that uh, Trip, uh, 787, sorry, probably between six and ten billion. My guess is 380s at least there or higher. There's a debate that goes on on both sides of the Atlantic about who gets subsidized, you know, in in this commercial aircraft business. Airbus took loans from the governments in Europe to build, develop the A380. They get paid back as they deliver airplanes. So it's a like quasi equity. So I don't think they had to worry as much about the market. For the A380, they've only sold about, they sold less than 300 of them. I think it's 289 now. And yes, there are just not a lot of city pairs that can take that huge capacity, uh, you know, on a regular basis without ruining fares. Now, what does it say about the demand from the airlines that Lufthansa already has $11 billion worth of orders from Boeing? I mean, is this a big positive or is this the way the airline industry normally works. That seems like a big number to me. Well, I mean, uh, airplanes, these airplanes are very expensive airplanes right there. We're talking 200 million, 250 million dollars a copy for the wide body airplanes. Uh, look, Lufthansa was a big 747 customer. Mm -hmm. I think even more interesting there was There's Lufthansa right there. has orders on, on the books for 747s, but they're moving towards the new 777. Uh, you know, people are just moving to these two engine airplanes. And what's going to well, compete with the new 777? Is that the Airbus A350 or the yeah. A330? or the, what is it? Well, you're right on. I mean, really what's going on here is Airbus is bringing this Airbus A350 out because the Boeing 777 has been such a successful airliner. Now, Boeing has to get back and refresh that airplane so that they don't lose market share to the 350. So the battle really is for these big two-engine airplanes, which means, like I said, the four-engine ones are sort of... Uh, they're, they're going the way of, uh, of the past, or the Commodore 64, perhaps. Maybe 